If you have been let go recently um, in one of these big tech layoffs, I want to tell you you're gonna be okay. <laughs> Hi, my name's Diana and I make content to help working moms and anyone else stay creative, current, and chic. Chic, creative, and current. Creative, current, and chic. <laughs> so welcome to my first ever long form video. I was also super sad. It was really shocking and sudden when I got let go. Um, I was considered a top performer, whatever that means. I got promoted, got extra, you know, RSU grants, all of that. And I still got let go. So um, it was very existential and very um, traumatizing, to be honest. I know that sounds dramatic but it's not only your job right it's your, like i said your career but also your community who you talk to all the time um, who you share pictures of your kids with you know it's more than just work um, especially if it's remote because your home life and your work life become very integrated so i think one of the things i learned is that it just kind of like plucks you out of a big part of your life so that part is very traumatic I wanted to start off and just tell you, number one is do not beat yourself up for feeling sad or emotional or anything like people tell you. It was just business. It's not personal. Don't take it personally. Thank them, but you know, maybe they haven't been through one or maybe they're just different than you. For me, this was an experience in life that was equally business and equally personal. It was not personal because it was driven by economic, you know, downturn and trend. But the fact that I was selected to go was very personal and painful because your job ties to your pay, which is your livelihood and how you support yourself and your family. So for me, it felt like the company was saying, we don't care about you or your family as much as we, it seemed. And I know that's a really personal way to take it, but that's how I took it and it was hard. So I just wanted to validate that for anybody feeling like that, it's a personal thing. Um, and you should definitely feel everything you need to feel. Next is protect your sense of self-confidence and self-worth. Take a childhood photo of yourself and put it up where you can see it. Put it by your monitor or your mirror or whatever it is and look at that child and just tell them it's gonna be okay, we're okay, and be nice to yourself, be kind to yourself, be gentle with yourself and that little child inside. Next, it's your former coworkers, uh, ones that were not let go. Ask them to write you a LinkedIn recommendation. They feel terrible right now. There's this like survivor's guilt that they have. And you know, they mean it when they say, we're sorry, we're gonna miss you, they mean it. They wish they could help you, right? It's a really easy, practical way for them to help you. And because they're also feeling a lot, that recommendation is going to be glowing or you know, really filled with emotion and authenticity. And you wanna to try to get as many of those as you can. I don't know what those actually end up doing for you in your career search. I don't know if recruiters look at those, if hiring managers look at those, they're kind of buried below. But what it did for me is it really helped me protect that self-worth and self-confidence that I mentioned earlier because I got to see, see why people liked working with me and what they think my strengths are and what I bring to the table. I have a sense of that. But, you know, I just didn't know specifically like what people were thinking. And it was just really nice stuff. And it kind of felt like, I mean, it's a little morbid, but it kind of felt like I was alive at my own funeral. Like, I don't think many people get to hear the nicest things about themselves because people kind of don't say it day to day, right? So that was just good for practical purposes, for future job, like references and referrals but also for the current state, it was good for your my own self-esteem and self-worth in like a moment I was feeling very vulnerable. Next, I would start typing out or journaling out all the things you did not like about the job you just got let go from. 
This is not a time to put on rose colored glasses and reminisce and be heartbroken. This is like, that was annoying. I didn't like that meeting. I didn't like how we did those uh, reviews. I didn't like crit. I didn't like whatever it is. Anything that you thought could have been improved that wasn't improving or irritated you, just write it down. Big or small, it doesn't matter. You're not trying to be precise here. You're trying to get your brain to re remember it was not a perfect job. And do you know how I know that? Even though I don't know you, I don't know your job or what it was because no job is perfect. <laughs> so now is the time to think about the things you didn't like. That is gonna help you get over this, okay? So stay tuned, subscribe. I'm trying to figure out my content. I would love feedback and requests and ideas as I try to go on this YouTube journey, which I can't believe I'm doing.